you are welcome to my channel thanks for visiting please kindly remember to subscribe right now i'll be addressing post-traumatic stress disorder but i'll be limiting myself to signs and symptoms only without further ado let's go there's a separate full presentation on ptsd and I tag that as PTSD A to Z. If you have the time to listen to that, that will cover these very presentations and the symptoms, diagnosis, risk factors, and everything else you need to know about post-traumatic stress disorder. So if you have the time, please kindly click on this very link. Now, let me start with you know, what is very horrible when it comes to post-traumatic stress disorder. It's happening in kids, yes, particularly those that have been sexually abused. And what will be the signs here? They will develop fear, sadness, self-isolation, decreased self-esteem, they can become more aggressive in life and they can know more about sexual behavioral displays. And then they can be hurting themselves and hurt others. Some of them may turn into alcohol use or drug use as young as 12, 15, 18, thereabouts. If the child is less than six years, you are going to pick some different but well-defined signs and symptoms. Like retrograde bedwetting, the child who has not been bedwetting before is now bedwetting. Not speaking, a child who could speak at a particular place and at a time, for example, she talks at school, she plays with her friends at daycare, but on getting home, she's quiet, she's silent. Something has gone behind you. Find out. Acting out the traumatic event in play, like kids are just playing at the park or just a group play, and the child is acting out exactly what has happened to him or her. Take a seat. Clinch you with an adult because he or she has been abused you know, traumatized. So seeing an adult around is like, oh, this is going to be my Messiah who is going to save me from this trouble. So when they see you know, somebody they could cling on to, they will do that family. Expression in school and journal and story. So when they have assignment, given at school, read that very carefully. That might be the only opportunity to know that something has gone wrong and the child will express in herself in journals and in stories at school. If the child is greater than eight years, it can have flashbacks and other symptoms as could be found in others. The teenagers will, I mean, anyone greater than 12 to 18 years can have destructive you know, actions. They could become disrespectful and even impulsive. Some will be so aggressive don't blame them, just find out what has gone wrong, okay? And some will be revengeful, like if they are being abused sexually by their father or stepfather, they may go after his life. Some will feel guilty for not preventing the accident and so on. The components of PTSD will include 
the basic factor that must be present, and that will be the history of trauma. The history of trauma here could be very real or just being perceived, but it will be scary, terrifying, or life threatening. Okay? Sometimes, sometimes, might not be, but majority of the cases will involve trauma that is real or perceived, but will be scary, terrifying, or life threatening. I will not pretend that this is uh, going to be the way it's going to be with everyone. Sometimes it may not be, but the timing is the issue. Well, that I will explain further, but let me quickly touch on that right now. The immediate hours, days, or weeks up to one month after the traumatic event or events, the reaction that time is tag acute stress disorder. Okay, but when it is persistent beyond that. Many people will have that, but after that, majority will get out of it. When it is persistent beyond 30 days, then we are into another territory, which is PTSD. Here, the brain is like playing the video recording of the event, so it is vivid. I will touch more about that later. And the individual will tell you one thing that is very common to everybody. I can't get, you know, I can't get it off my brain. And that is the truth. And that is why it is a problem. That is why I'm making this presentation. There are you no know, symptoms that have been grouped together. Four of them. Some target has crossed us. That will include intrusion, don't worry, I will delve into that in a bit. Avoidance, mood changes, and arousal. Now, the intrusion. Intrusion is the distinguishing feature of post-traumatic stress disorder. Here, the individual will talk about nightmare particularly in children, that when an adult comes down with nightmare, then just mark it, the history of trauma in him or her, and the timing of the history of trauma and the symptom that we are dealing with right now, will tell us whether we are dealing with acute stress disorder or PTSD. Then they will be having flashback on how the event happened. And that will still be going on at the moment that the individual is before the physician. They will have clear picture, plain itself in their brain. The individual will be overcome with fear and apprehension. They just don't want to go near it anymore, they do not need. It's just happening and repeating and repeating itself in their brain. Then the next group of symptoms will be avoidance. What's happening here? From the you know, straightforward word here, it is pretty clear. Once beaten, twice shy. Why? They'll be running away from all appearances of a similar event. Let me give an example. Someone is involved in road traffic accident, road traffic accident. And then he or she says, I'm not going to board vehicle again, but how will you get back home? How will you get to the hospital? Even when you call 911, EMS people are here, they are still going to take you through either a helicopter or you know, the vehicle to the hospital, even for treatment. But you might be struggling with them. If they are capable of talking to you, you might be struggling with them to even put them in. And that is acute stress disorder, right? Now, 
months and months and even years after because they've been involved in road traffic accident some of them if they have you know another means of transporting themselves might go through the air or the sea but they will reluctantly go through the same road if they must anyways that's an example i could give they will do everything to avoid it then they don't want to talk about it anymore you would have heard people say no don't say that to me anymore don't don't remind me of that anymore then they will not want to see that particular place or person any longer and they will not be visiting this place where the event has occurred some will visit new york grand zero for 911 i mean september 11 uh, 2001 but majority would like to avoid that not entering a particular room or house where the event has occurred in fact in the western world when a house has been involved in a very serious crime the authority will pull it down completely specific phobias will be developed and then some will even change address or to avoid a repeat occurrence arose here they will be hyper vigilant they'll be on guard or they will be on the lookout yet yeah, they might be unable to sleep they can't sleep or they have altered sleeping pattern because they are watchful okay the anger in them might rise they could become irritable and anxiety may be on the increase they can do something that is odd that is labeling people as being dangerous or wicked and then they perceive no more events as no go area because of the experience that they've had. Now, mood changes. Of course, the mood of anyone with PTSD will change. And that could be tilting them to anxiety specifically generalized anxiety some will have panic attack and some will go into depression depression here will involve mood changes sleep alteration that could be either increase or decrease they could become inattentive and then be feeling guilty the energy level will drop and they will have poor concentration they will no longer have interest in what is interesting or pleasurable to them before will no longer become pleasurable to them for example going with their friends to camp and so on then the psychomotor retardation and the worst part of it they could go into severe depression and lead to suicide When it comes to substance use, like alcohol, street drugs, it will be on the increase. They can come down with specific phobias, depending on what they've experienced before. Some you now agoraphobia, phobia of any sort, that they will be afraid of the exact you know picture or domain where the event has occurred physical symptoms here will present like panic attack there may be history of sweating tremor dizziness headache chest pain body pain tiredness decrease energy level and even decrease immunity 
There may be medical diseases that will be associated with this. In that case, they may be battling with cardiovascular disease, neurological problems, respiratory disorders, metabolic derangement, autoimmune diseases will be on the increase. They will become you know, uh, patients of irritable bowel syndrome. I'm not saying all these will occur in one person with PTSD, but it is very likely. I mean, one of these diseases can then service with PTSD, yeah. Then if they are known to have migraine, oh boy, it's likely going to be on the increase. I mean, they will be having more attacks of migraine. And history of heart-related diseases, my job. And they can even have heart attack. There is a dissociative subtype. And the reason why I want to mention that right here is that in this type of PTSD, the sufferers will have higher level of impairment. And it's likely going to be associated with another disease entirely, so comorbidity. Here, the suicide will be on the increase. And then they'll be done with specific symptoms like uh, depersonalization. In, in depersonalization, they will be like lost completely or dazed. They are disconnected with their own body and then they, they will tell themselves or anybody around them that their body is no longer theirs. It's that bad. And then they can be done with derealization, meaning the whole surrounding the entire world is not real, but they are just in a trance or they are just dreaming. They can have dissociative amnesia. Yeah, it may be present and they can have dissociative flashbacks. Then PTSD cluster. Uh, PTSD clusters, like I've alluded to earlier, is the combination of the four symptoms. So the cluster might be you know, happening in all PTSD patients, but not everyone will express each component in the same pattern. Okay, some will have more intrusion than avoidance, some will have avoidance than a rosa or mood changes will be more prominent than the other. So, most PTSD patients will have the four symptoms, but some will be more prominent than the other. Then, externalization. When they are externalizing, um, they will have aggressiveness, impulsivity, increased alcohol use, increased street drug use, with or without borderline personality disorder. Meaning they are not able to suppress all these you know, reactions. It is showing forth in them. But some will internalize it. In this case, they have mood changes more. And the mood changes there will be towards the negative, depression, then negative, emotionality, but they can be done with somatic symptoms that will present like the physical symptoms I stated the other time. The worst thing here is that they are becoming introverts. So introversion is a key feature of internalization when it comes to the PTSD. And that is pretty scary. Why? They will have you know, the, the, the kind of withdrawal to themselves, they are not speaking now, they are not telling anybody what is going on with them. They are combat with excessive thoughts and feelings, and they will behave in one way or the other that will be, you know, pointing to PTSD, but they may not even say anything to anybody. Such people can go to 
profound depression and commit suicide. With that, I've come to the end of the signs and symptoms of PTSD. Everyone needs help. Anyone affected needs help. Please don't keep it to yourself. Speak out. PTSD is a serious condition that must be tackled. It is not your fault. No, it's not your fault. So, come down some for help. Thanks for listening. Please remember, subscribe to my channel. I appreciate it.